What's happening everybody? Welcome back to another episode of My Pathetic Life as a Homeowner. I hope you're doing all well out there. In this episode, I am going to be installing an Ecobee thermostat. Um, realistically, I'm not going to review this thing because there's a ton of videos on how this thing actually works and its menus and blah blah blah. To be honest with you, I honestly didn't buy this um, for a lot of the features. I literally just bought this because I love the look of it. Look what I'm dealing with right now. This is my ugly piece of shit thermostat in our bastard bedroom. It looks like crap. I'm gonna replace it with this. Uh, I do have home automation projects started as well, so I mean, it will tie into that, but generally speaking, the thermostat and home automation, yeah, sure, I can change my temperature from another country, but I mean, I don't know. Anyways, I'm not gonna be reviewing this thing. Um, what I will be talking about and uh, going over is how to actually wire this thing up. More than likely, if you're thinking about buying one of these things, the first thought you're, you're going to come across in your head is, uh, how do I wire it? And if you don't have any electrical background, this might be a scary thought. So I'm going to focus on the wiring of it. I've got two of these that I need to install into this house, and uh, they're both slightly different when it comes to the wiring. So maybe you will learn something from this, and um, we'll go from there. Cheers. All right, let's get started. Let's start with a beer first though. All right, let's rip this thing apart and see what we got going on here. Bam, we got the nice little display. We got some tips with a find a pro and then we got an instruction manual we got some wire labels we got the wiring thingy uh, we have a power module that you might need and I'll get into that in a second and then we got some screws for uh, while mounting this power thingy into the wall so let's head over to our thermostat now, first things first, you're supposed to power this thing off. So here's the disclaimer, go turn your power off at your breaker or at your furnace. Uh, if you watch any of my previous videos, I tend to uh, swap things uh, when they're hot. I don't like turning the power off. Well, I mean, it's not that I don't like it. It's just sometimes it's inconvenient and a little bit entertaining for you folk to watch it with the power on. All right, this thing's off. Um, this is where the instruction manual kind of comes in. This instruction manual is kind of put into two sections, guide one and guide two. And technically, if you want, there's a guide three, which means you can't fucking do this and you're fucked and you return the thing. But th to, sum to dumb down this wiring right here, guide one and guide two, um, essentially, it's essentially, it's divided into whether you have a C wire or a common wire or whether you don't have a common wire without a common wire. Now, if you don't have a common wire, you're going to need to use that little power uh, module. If you do have a common wire, you don't need to use it. So essentially on your current thermostat, if you look really closely here, you're going to see a C, Y2, Y1. I mean, all these thermostats look uh, similar, but a lot of the wiring can be different. And that's why they don't give it to you by the wire. They give it to you by the label. So blue isn't always common, but in, in most cases it is. Um, so for example, like yellow's probably uh, cooling and then red's probably heat. But the big thing about this manual, it's divided into two things. You have a common wire or you don't have a common wire. In this case, I do have a common wire, which is the blue. So essentially, I'm good without having to put the module in. Now, if you didn't have a common wire, you will need to take this module and walk all the way over to your furnace, rip it apart a little bit, there should be doors, and there should be a control panel somewhere in here. And essentially, you're gonna take this, and I'm gonna light this up. Here's the control panel right here. And it's got some plugs here. I'm gonna take a picture of it and show you. Um, and again, this is kind of, if you don't have a common wire, like I have a common wire right here, which is the blue wire, which is what we saw in the other room, I'm good to go. But if you don't have that common wire, uh, you need to follow the instructions and essentially plug all of these wires into there. And then this will convert it 
uh, into giving you that common wire. So, and then you kind of plug these into there. So you could take those out, put into there, and plug this in. And that'll kind of convert it for you, uh, and it will give you that common wire that you need. And then there's a nice little magnet on this thing, and you kind of stick it like that, and it kind of sits in here pretty nicely. So that's the big thing with the common wire and this power module. Now, I'm going to show you my other thermostat right now, and that thermostat did not have a common wire on it. However, the wiring that came out of the wall had the common wire there and it was just tapped off as you can see in this picture right now. So keep in mind, your thermostat might not have that common wire attached to it, but that common wire might have already been run there. So if it's already been run there, like shown in this picture right here, then uh, you can certainly use that and put it onto the EcoB and you will be good to go. All right, so the instructions, the instructions ask you to, you know, label these wires, right? To be honest with you, I think it's kind of stupid and it's kind of, I'm gonna put it realistically, amateurish to try to label all these. Honestly, take a very good quality picture and that picture will tell you whether the blue is, you know, C, what's going to W1, it looks like white, um, Y1 is yellow, G is obviously green, and then red is going to red, right? So essentially, I got a picture of that. You can see that very clearly. I know what my wires go to, and now I'm gonna just transition that into this. So we have all the same lettering, and all we gotta do is poke all those wires into it. So let's do that. So undo all these wires now. No, I didn't have a wire. That one's white. No, that one didn't have a wire. This one's got a wire. This one's got a wire. This one's got a wire. Unplug all these, try not to touch them because they're live. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, when I say touch them, I'm not worried about touching them because they're low voltage, but saying touching them as in touching each wire to a wire because you run the risk of shorting something potentially. All right, that's cool. That's off now. It's time to get this motherfucker off here. Woo. Bam. All right. Now this you're kind of left with this stupid old paint fucking section where this is all painted nicely and this is all old paint. So cross your fingers. This covers it. I put it here. Yeah, it's fucking it's kind of half-ass covers it. Uh. All right, I'm gonna take a break here. I'm gonna I'm gonna touch this up a little. Damn it! The other option you actually have, to be honest with you, in the box is at the very, very bottom. You can put this damn thing on, which will certainly cover everything. Hold on, I'll show you certainly covers everything but looks like shit i don't like it at all i don't want to use it i rather do this nice and flush so i am going to take some time to make this look pretty and do a little bit of touch-up painting all right my patch job looks like shit i actually um i had an old bucket of paint that's been sitting around for like five years and uh, there was barely any paint in it, so when I went to use the paint, it turned into like a paste. And I kind of had to like, I don't know, it was a pain in the ass. But anyways, whatever, it kind of did the trick. I mean, I might put some, I don't know, whatever. Shit'll buff, shit'll buff. All right, next step, let's mount this little um, connector plate. Uh, it's got a little, uh, if you notice, there's a little uh, level there get it dead on center so I'm gonna put a hole I'm gonna put a hole up here I'm actually gonna lift this a little that's fine and then put a hole down here once I'm level so I get my center bam all right 3 16th drill bit drill those out
Looks like I might have hit. I think I hit the stud. All right, cool. I hit a stud. That means I might not need the plugs in. So, what I mean by plugs is they come with screw plugs. Uh, if you don't hit a stub, stud, you put one of these in. If you do hit one, you don't really need it and you can just kind of screw it in. So let's do that. Oh, fuck, look at me, amateur. Amateur night. Where the fucking screw go? Cocksucker. There it is. All right. Put one of these in my mouth. Oh, I'm holding this with my fucking hands. level there. Looks level. All right, time to fucking do the wiring here. Back to the phone. And you use this as a reference. If you want, you can still use your manual as the reference too. So hold on, let's take a look at this. Manual says. Uh, if you use the labels, use the manual. Honestly, if you don't use the lab or if you don't use the labels and you have all these little W1s, W2s, blah, blah, blah. It's all the same stuff. So if you have a W1, you put it into W1. If you have a yellow Y1, you put it in a Y1. So that's what the manual says. I'm gonna do this like this as well. Now these are, you don't need a screwdriver here. And you put them, so blue's common in my case. Get it in there and then trying to pull it back a little bit. All right, then we had uh, white going to W1. So white goes to W1. Get that in there. Make sure they're secure. All right, then we had next wire was yellow going to the Y1. Get that wire in there. So some of the, my other thermostat had a jumper. Um, I didn't need that jumper with the Eco B. All right, then green was the G. Pretty straightforward. So the reason why they don't really tell you color codes is because these should be color coded, and they are in most homes. But there's a, there's could be situations where people don't use the color code, or you have some sort of old furnace or something. And then red goes to uh, R. So I got two R's here, RC and RH. Mine doesn't show, so I'm gonna double check in the manual. RC or RH. I'm gonna make sure I'm in the right section. And it says insert R or RC to RC, RH to RH. Uh, R so it's essentially saying R or RC, and I only have an R. So it's essentially saying throw that into RC. All right, it's in RC. I'm gonna push this back a little bit. All these connections look tight. All the wires are there. All we need to do now it's slappity dap this eco be on and it should power up. Let me just do a last check here. White, yellow, green, red. Hi. Nice to meet you. All right. So we got power. Everything worked out. Please give me a moment to while I stretch my wings, whatever the hell that means. 
I'm gonna take this cover off. Actually, I'm gonna leave it on. <laughs> go through all the menus. So now, now you're gonna go through all the menu. Uh, it's gonna ask for your internet. It's if you have a home kit, uh, Apple Home Kit or Alexa or OK Google or whatever you're using, you can hook it up to that. Um, I do have home kit. I'm gonna hook it up to that. And then uh, that's it. So um, hold on and I'll get back in a second here after it's set up. All right, and there you have it. Now you can be that cool adult sitting at your uh, restaurant table with your friends and being like, check this out and call in Siri to change your uh, thermostat here. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll try to answer them. Uh, as far as the settings go, this is pretty straightforward. Um, other than that, cheers. Please subscribe to my channel. I've got a ton of other projects that I get into and uh, you might learn something. Cheers.